I'm Carrie from Top of the Hill Fitness. Today we have a beautiful painting by Fiona Ackerman on the wall and a beginner moderate intensity interval session. This might be a good one to try if you're new to interval training or feel like you need to take it easier today. We'll do a warm up, 10 exercises in interval format with 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of recovery. Then we'll cool down and stretch. And here's Anita for the warm up. She's just going to jog in place for 30 seconds. Get, get the arms moving, maybe some arm sweeps or arm circles. Just a gentle warm up, easy pace, bounce around, jogging. Next up is a high knee march. Just marching pace, getting the knees up as high as you can, trying to maintain nice runner arms with a 90 degree bend at the elbow. Nice upright posture and flexing the foot as you come up into the march. Next up is the standing toe touch, right side. So the right leg is coming up to meet the your extended hand of the left arm. I'm just repeating that action. Get a bit of a stretch on the hamstring, a little bit of work on the core. And we'll switch to the left side in five seconds. And switch to the left side. Left leg's coming up, right arm is giving it a tap. If you can reach, if your leg doesn't come up that far, that's fine too. This is just the warm up. Do what you can. Next up is a slow squat. Come into squat position, feet about shoulder width apart, and coming down as low as you can, keeping a straight upper body, trying to put the weight into your heels, getting some nice work on your quads, maybe a little bit on your glutes. Next up is sunflower. Arms up above your head in a nice roundish sunflower formation, and you're coming down to the side, around the front, and up the other side, and then you just reverse directions. Ankle circles are next. Just standing on one leg, get your balance and rotating your foot in a circle to warm up your ankles. Get the mobility going in your ankle joint. And we're switching feet. So standing on the other leg now and moving that other ankle. Inchworms next. Standing at one end of your mat and walking your hands down so that you're out, extended out into plank position. And then walk them back. And standing back up and walking out, walking back. Just a gentle continuous action here. We'll take a 30 second break before we start the intervals. So just a reminder, our moderate interval session will be uh, three times 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for each of 10 exercises. Our first one is step jacks and we'll go in five. Okay. 
Okay, so just assume an easy continuous pace here. Arms come up and you step off to one side, bring the legs back together and you step off to the other side. Let's take that 10 second break and we'll do it again. Arms up, step out, side to side. Just keep it going continuous. I think you'll feel like this is a bit of work on your uh, shoulders and arms. Another 10 second break and we'll do the third round. Okay, step jacks, pick up the pace if you're able. If you want to take this up a notch, you could do a full jumping jack too. Ten second break, and the next exercise is a walking burpee. So it's just an easy pace, uh, no jumping required, although Anita's getting a little jump in there, but it's just a step back out into the plank position and then coming up to, back to standing. Take a break and we'll do the second round. And start. Starting with a little jump or just starting from standing, extending out into plank position and repeat. And coming up to the third round of walking burpee. And start. Just five seconds. Great. Next exercise is a fun one, the dead bug. Come on down to the mat. Starting from your back, your arms are up and your legs are bent at 90 degrees. And you're just extending right arm, left leg out fully, and then left arm, right leg. And then just repeat. Return it to the starting position. Okay, take your quick break and we'll do the second round. And start it up. And it might have taken you the first round to figure that one out. That is totally okay. But you're just alternating side to side. So it's a little bit of a brain teaser too. So it's good to keep your brain engaged while you're exercising. And we're coming up to the third round, dead bug. And start up, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. And trying to maintain stability and through the hips. And quick break, we'll do a jump rope simulation. And start it up. So just like you actually have a jump rope, you're moving your arms and jumping. Quick break. And 
And this time Anita's doing the two foot jump. You can do the hop one foot then the other if you prefer. Just a chance to get into the air a little bit and maybe take your heart rate up a notch. And another quick break and we'll go into the third round. And start. Almost done. Five seconds to go. Another quick break and come on down to the mat for a plank shoulder tap. You can do this from your knees. Just maintain a nice uh, straight line plank position if you can from your knees to your shoulders. And you're tapping opposite shoulder with your hand. Quick break. And start. Just a quick tap on the shoulder and replace the hand on the ground. Gives you a good practice at keeping your abs engaged and your hips stable. And we'll come up to the third round of this one. And go. So think about not having any side to side movement through your hips your core while you're doing this. Staying nice and firm. And next up, uh, you'll be on your back on the mat for side to side heel taps. And start it up. So your heels are just uh, in quite close towards your butt and you're tapping your heel with your hand and moving side to side. And take a quick break. And start. It's okay if you can't reach your heel with your hand. The idea is just to get a little bit of a side crunch in this, in this exercise. And relax for seven more seconds, and we'll do the third round of that. And start. Quick tap. Thinking about engaging your abs, getting some benefit on your uh, obliques on the side of your abdominal. And come on up for a slow squat with pulses. Okay, and it's just a slow squat down and three slow pulses once you're in squat position. And then come on back up. And relax for a little bit. Let's do round two. And slowly come on down and you're pulsing one, two, three, and slowly rising. All right, almost time for the th third round of the slow squat.
And off we go. Halfway done. Just keep up that continuous movement. And our next exercise is a marching high knee. So similar to the one we did in the warm up, you're driving up with the knee, knees coming up as high as you can, and uh, maintaining running form through the arms and a continuous pace. And let's start our second round. Think about getting your knees as high as you can. If you have to go slower to do that, that's fine. And start the third round. Continuous pace, keeping everything engaged. Almost there, eight seconds to go. And next up is an alternating front lunge. Okay, so moving forwards down into lunge position as low as you can, and then coming back up and we're alternating legs. Okay, quick break, and we'll move into the second round. And start up, nice wide lunge. Think of pushing straight up once you're in the lunge positions, push straight up and keep that upper body nice and straight too. And almost done this one, third round coming up. And stepping out, lowering down, rising straight up, stepping back. This is a great one for your hamstrings and your glutes. All right, and come on down to the mat. We're gonna finish off with push-ups from your knees if that's where you're comfortable. And start up. So just 20 seconds, you can do this. Keep it going. See how many you can do in the first 20 seconds. I'll try to match that each time. All right, give yourself a break. And let's try that again. See if maybe you can get one more push up in than you did in the first 20 seconds. Halfway there. And coming up to the third round. And ready. And go. This is the last exercise and the last 20 seconds of the last exercise. So give it whatever you have left here because we're finishing off. Just five seconds to go. You can get a few more reps in. Fantastic. We're all done with the hard work. We're just going to jog in place for 30 seconds up next.
The painting by Fiona Ackerman on the wall behind Anita references the work of botanical artists of the 18th century. Fiona became interested in the stories of the women who illustrated scientific texts and were able to gain entry through art into a realm of science that was largely close to them. We're going to start up our stretch portion next. So the first one we'll do is a quad stretch on the right side. So holding the right foot with the right hand and balancing on the left leg. And just thinking about your balance as you're doing this, use a wall if you need to. And let's switch to the left quad. Might be able to get a bit of a stretch into your hip flexor as well. Come on down to the mat. We'll do a seated figure four. Right leg bent over left leg. So you should feel this through your hips, especially on the right side. And let's switch. So the left leg is bent over the right leg, over the right knee. And just take a seat, extend those legs right out in front of you and get a bit of a stretch on the hamstrings. Leaning forward as much as you can while keeping a straight back. I'm gonna come up into a downward dog next. And up into a downward dog. And we're going to pedal out the legs, giving the calves a bit of a stretch while we're here. Pressing the hands into the mat and turning those hips up to the ceiling. And let's just walk the feet to the hands so that we're in a forward fold position, getting a hamstring stretch here. Adjusting our clothes as necessary and come on up into a roll up to standing, slow roll all the way up to mountain pose or pencil stretch, stretching everything out nice and tall. And we're done. Thanks for working out with us and giving this beginner moderate intensity interval training a try. Please tell us what you liked about it in the comments. Give it a like if you do like it and share it with a friend. Thanks and see you next time at Top of the Hill.